I got a call one evening about uh, Chris being in a, a local hospital, and, and I went in to see him. He had had a uh, an event. I think it was a seizure, but it was an event. And they had done a CAT scan and found a mass. Um, I reviewed that, talked with our uh, neurosurgeon from Children's Hospital who came to see him, and she operated him. And indeed, he had a temporal lobe uh, glioma. He had a tumor that, um, in, from what I understand today, and having done a fair amount of research of, of information at that time, had no relationship to his spinal muscular atrophy. We've looked at other neuromuscular diseases when you see a, a few patients who have a, a cancers, and you say, oh, is there a trend here? Is there some genetic predisposition? But in all the dozens of patients, never saw that before, never saw anything in the literature about it either. So it was bad luck. It was just an unfortunate incident where this, this young person who has a very serious neuromuscular disease, all of a sudden now has a brain tumor, has to have it removed, has to undergo further therapy, and winds up with an epilepsy on top of everything else, which he handled with a plum. Uh, you know, yeah, doc, I'm having a seizure now. Okay, I don't see your arm moving. Well, it can't move, you know, it's weak. But uh, it, it was something, just another step, just something else for him to deal with, and he did.